to get into the last bout for tonight. We've had eight exciting bouts already. The ninth bout for tonight. Last but not the least. So we now prepare for the final bout of the night. Basti Samer versus his opponent Koengo from Cameroon. Those Ladies and gentlemen, the, fight. the last Basti but not the least, Samer. the big one. About that. It's going to travel eight rounds for the international cruiserweight contest between Kadam Kangu versus Basti Samir. Yeah, when I look around us, I see greater things around us. 1957, but not age the day, cause we still evergreen and we suck the low cost. That infected our leaves and derailed our focus. Massage for Kwam and Koma J. Ensan. You've done so many things for us, so Moma Yenka. Who grew more Jenny Jipan, who gave him my dream back. That was three major words, they were here while we know that. So me, I had a promise on my honor to be faithful to my country. We do all the credits and hostility could be my sanctuary. The big six for the fuck for us. So I respectfully raise the flag of Ghana high Cause I know name legacy God bless my homeland God bless the golden Every citizen and every chief who stay true when Corruption was dancing around us like we got influenced By something addictive but you never stop the movement Ghana and Yamishi Ryan says yeah we walk freely No colonization, Akaida, Suye, Nibi Don't draw like your bed, be why the tourists come to see we Let the Kwashiko Okay so We'll we will start with the Kadam Kangu. We will start with the main event of the night. We have Basti Samer in the ring with the legendary Coach Asari in his corner. Asari is a very experienced coach, and I believe we are going to see a very good show between Samir and Kuenga. Kuenga may look like the underdog, but it's a very, it's a very good boxer from Cameroon. I would like to prove a point this evening so that they will have the opportunity to fight again. This is very, to be a very good show. Kamda Kuenga looks it looks very ripe. It looks ready for a good show. Now to the Samir show. Basti. Judge one, Shadrach Akwe. Judge two, Maymesa Akako. Judge three, Erasmus O. To the records. He's been a pro boxer in Cameroon with 13 fights to his credit. 11 wins, two losses. He trains with Yakra Boxing Club, headed by Coach George Smart Abbey. He has quite a number of fights which has not been recorded on Box Rec yet. Ladies and gentlemen, from Cameroon, Kadam Kungu in the blue corner in black trunks. His opponent needs no introduction. Former Captain Black Bombers, sparred with the likes of Floyd Mayweather. He has a record of 20 fights, 19 wins, with 18 coming by way of knockout, one draw. He trains at the Wisdom, Wisdom Boxing Gym with a legacy coach, Coach Asari as the head coach. Ladies and gentlemen, Basti Samir in the red corner. And it's power time, referee. Referee Michael Nikwe. Referee, come give your instructions. All right, gentlemen, I expect a clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. And whatever I say, you must obey. Touch up. God bless.
Okay, so we begin with the main event of the night. Basi Same versus Kanda Kuengo from Cameroon. Kama Kuengo looks like he has a rich advantage. And this is a moment you have all been waiting for. Samir, Basti Samir, as a knockout artist. Won most of his fights by knockout. This evening, he will be looking to make a comeback with a knockout. But if he is a tough opponent, who is very tall, looks very ripe, and it looks like he wants to make a statement. Masi Samer is ready. Come back with round Refund. Erasmus to be the man in the middle of this fight. Now we start the show. Kamda is using his job. Same. Basti Same starts his throwing the big, big shots. Good job by Kamda. Basti wastes no time. He throws a big, the big punch straight to the body. But still, we train all the big, big shots. Nice shot to the mid session of Kwangu. Kwangu is a steady fighter. He's working with his job. But he needs to show something for Basti to respect him. Because Basti is showing all the big shots. Basti is showing all the big shots. Kwangu will come with. A big one as well. But still looks fierce. Taking his time. Another big shot by Basti. Kwenga takes it. Kwenga needs to show something for Basti to respect him. He knows to throw a good shot to win the respect of Basti. But as it stands now, Basti is in cruise control. Basti is taking his time. Lord Kwenga will keep, will keep moving to prevent Basti from coming close. So far, it's been jabs, upper jabs. That was a very good round for Basti Samer. And I think Basti Samer will give some respect to Kamda Kuenga for absorbing all those shots and not showing any weakness. I think Basti must be careful with the big, big shots he's throwing. He needs to slow down and also come in with something new because it looks like Kamda Kuenga can take all his big, big shots. But so far, so good. Basti has been very fast with the uppercut. Apakat, you won't see coming. And Kwenda has been able to take all those punishments. But that was a very good round for Basti Samir. We now move to the second round. This promises to be very exciting. I like the confidence of Kwenda. Kamda Kwenda looks very confident. Will he continue to give us a good show that he's giving us? Will he be throwing big punches? These are the questions that the fans will be asking. Round number two. Basti comes in to work on the body with a double jab. Good shot by Basti. Good shot by Kwenga. I think Kwenga is sending the respect of Basti. Basti is sending the respect of Kwenga now. Those are good shots to the main session. Kwenga must stay focused. He must be serious. Kwenga is, is good and is taking advantage of his reach. You wonder how come he's absorbing all those big, big punches from Basti Samer. Basti Samer would have to look at something else. Before, before his big, big punches slows him down. 
But so far, so good. It's been a good show by both boxers. Grenda will continue to move around. Finding the right space to love something sweet. His jabs has been lovely tonight. Landing almost all of his jabs. Anytime he throws the jabs, he lands it. Still a good fight. Basti is taking his time. This is a very competitive fight. No Achinagbish. No Achinagbish here. These are real men enjoying themselves. Koenga looks to enjoy himself. And showing why he was selected to face Basti. Good job by Koenga. Another good point by Koenga. Koenga is using his job. And I think Basti must be careful of his job because Koenga is landing all the jabs. Any jabs he throws, he lands it. This is what I'm talking about. Basti must be careful. You can't throw all these big, big shots and be taking the jabs to the face. It's going to slow you down. He needs to try something new. He needs to take his time. Koenga is landing all his jabs, which is not good for Basti. Basti needs to work on that. All the jabs to the head will definitely slow you down. Koenda looks very disciplined, good movement, very calm. He's taking all the shots really well. Basti is still working on the body. That was a very good shot. That was a good blow to the face of Basti. But Basti, that was a very good round. Koenda is a solid fighter. Koenda is a solid fighter. And you can see the fans, the fans are giving him some respect now. And that is what the sport of boxing is about. When you go out to a different country to fight, you will definitely not have the fans. But you need to make sure before you come home, you have some few fans. You, you have to make sure you have some few fans. And make sure... You are selected again for another fight. I think Coach Asari must speak to Basti to protect his face. Because Koenda is landing all the jabs. Koenda keeps landing all the jabs. Koenda looks solid. It looks firm. It looks so good. Let's, let's see what happens. Now we go to round three. Koenga, Koenga, the man from Cameroon, Sammy Basti, the experienced boxer that sparred with Floyd Mayweather. This is a very good contest. This is a very good contest. Koenga will look to control this fight with the jabs. My problem with Basti is that he allows Koenga to land all his jabs, which is not good. Don't allow the man to land his jabs. Protect your face. Basti. Basti needs to protect his face. Because he's taking all your punches. So you need to protect your face as well. Koenda will take his time and continue to use his left jab. His beautiful left jab. It looks like Koenda is not afraid of the power punches of Samuel Basti. But Basti is careful. He's doing all he can to end this fight in a knockout, like he's known for. Meanwhile, Koenda will take his time, control the fight to the jab. So many jabs. And the jabs are very effective. Koenda would have to use his right at the moment. When the opportunity arises, you need to use your right. Basti is getting exhausted. Like I said before, like I said before, 
but still, but still has to be careful. You can't be throwing all those big punches and expect to finish the fight. And expect to finish the fight. Koenda is doing all he can. He's taking all the shots of Bastille. And this is the reason why Bastille needs to control. He needs to take his time to protect his face. Because he are taking too much, too much punishment. Every time Koenda throws the jab, he lands it. Any time Koenda throws the jabs, he lands it. Good shot by Koenda. Good shot by Koenda. Still using the jabs. Inside time, we see a power punch for Koenda. But he keeps using the jab. He keeps using the jab. Ten seconds more. But still will throw all his big, his big punches. Good shot by Bastille. Koenga. 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 I send my respect. He has said my respect. He's doing all the good things in the ring. Fighting well. Throwing the big shots. And Bastille is having a lot of problems. If Bastille doesn't slow down, and Koenga starts to throw the big, big punches, he's going to win this fight easily. So far, so good. So far, so good for Goenda. Who looks to be absorbing all the big shots from Samir Bastille. The Bastille power, he has tested it. He has tested the Bastille power. And it's still fine. Calm down, will come in. Control the fight with the jab. Jabi, Basti must keep his head moving to prevent Calm down from landing those, those jabs. Good shot. Good shot by Koenda. It looks like he's ready to start throwing his big, big shots now. Good shot by Koenda. But still will land the big shots. And it seems Koenda is taking all the big shots and he's still coming. He's not giving up. That must be very frustrating to Basti. But Basti is doing all the right things. He still continues to work on the body. Basti is taking his time. That was a very good shot by Basti. Koenda will continue to use his jab. Koenda continues to use his jab. Basti continues to throw the big shots. So it's a fight of big jabs and big shots. Big jabs, big shots. Basti is looking to throw something big. Koenda. Koenda throws a big shot. Good, good shot by Koenda. Koenda is doing all the right things at the moment. Basti is taking his time to find his rhythm. Samuel Basti wants to launch something huge. Koenda will move away to prevent that big shot. That's a very good shot by Basti. Basti is throwing all the big shots. Koenda, very disciplined, using his jab. Good ball, shot by Koenda. Good shot by Koenda. Good shot by Koenda. That's a good exchange. That's a good exchange. Koenda keeps using his jab. That's a good shot by Bastille. Bastille is showing all the big shots. Koenda. Koenda keep work, 
he keeps working with the jab. But still move back. This look very entertaining. But still keeps throwing the big shot. But still wants to end the fight. He's doing all he can. But still is throwing all the big shots. He straight all the big shots. But Basti must be careful. Basti must be very, very careful. So that he doesn't injure himself. But Akwenda has been so brilliant in the fight. He has been so brilliant. Fighting very technical. This fight looks very interesting. Koenda is winning some fans here, but still is trying to finish his tough, his toughest fight after his comeback with a knockout. And he will continue pushing so he's able to get a knockout. The knockout may soon be coming if Koenda will be standing there to be taking all those shots. But Koenda needs to be careful. He needs to be careful. He needs to be throwing combinations. He needs to be using the jab. And stay away from Bastille, Samir. It's been a good show so far. We go to the fifth round. Three more rounds to go. Will Bastille finish this fight by a knockout? Or Koenda will pull a huge upset tonight. But he has proven he can take all the big shots from Samia Basti. The only problem with Koenda is that he doesn't throw any big shots. And this is a fight of big shots. You can't be using the jabs throughout. When the need arises, you need to throw the big shots. Koenda will keep Basti away with his jab. Basti is looking to learn something big. Koenda is not throwing any big shots at all. His only deadly weapon in this fight is a jab. And in the cruiser weight, you need the power punch with a combination of the jab. You can't just rely on the jab. And if you want to use the jab, you need to be moving a lot. But still looks a bit tired, but he's still throwing those huge shots. That's a good shot by Quenda. Good shot by Quenda. Good shot by Quenda. Good job. Good job. Good job. At this point, Bastille is being careful. Bastille is being careful. Because a fighter like Kamda Koenda, you need to be careful. He can take all the punches you can throw. And he has a very good job. But still is showing some good combinations. But it looks so tight. And how long is it going to continue that way? The judge, the referee will have a word with both boxes. But still will throw some combinations to the midsection. Krenda won't go down. Krenda won't go down. Krenda still looks solid. He doesn't look scared at all. He seems to fight Samuel Basti. He seems to fight Samuel Basti. Basti looks a bit exhausted. Basti will listen to his corner. It looks like Basti is getting tired. It looks like Basti is getting tired, but that was a clear push. It was a clear push. The referee needs to have a word. The referee needs to have a word with both boxes. They must keep this fight clean. Also, also, Kamda is not giving the fans what they want. You can't continue throwing the jabs and not landing any power shots. Why won't Kamda throw any big shots? That is the question the fans keep asking. Because Batsi looks 
This moment, Bastille looks very tired. But he will fight to his last blood. Bastille looks very tired. This has been a solid performance by Kamda Koenga. And I think he has sent the respect of some Ghanaian fans. Coach Asari will speak to Bastille and correct their mistakes before they come in. They come into the seat rounds. They are coming into the seat rounds so strong. And Coach Asari will look for Bastille to finish it as soon as possible. Coach Erasmus will speak to Kamda Koenga to be careful. Coach Erasmus will complain. We will give a warning. We will give a warning to Calm that Koenga to be very careful. Now we we'll continue. We we'll continue. Two jabs straight to the face of Basti. Basti, Koenga is having a good time. Koenga is having a good time. He's using the jab to prevent Basti from coming. Referee Erasmus will separate them. Basti is looking to find his reading. Meanwhile, Koenga will use his jab. Koenga will continue to use his jab whilst Basti looks for his reading to throw the big shot. That was a good shot by Basti. Well taken by Koenga. Good shot by Basti. Koenga will continue to use his jab. That was a good shot by Koenga. Koenga is using the jab, moving around, and he's having a good time. Noah Basti, Basti is coming in, throwing all the big shots. Basti, that was a very good shot by Basti. Well taken by Koenga. How long will Koenga continue to take all these shots? Basti looks so tight. Basti must be careful. But Basti keeps throwing all the big shots. Kudos to Basti. It's not backing now. Basti is not backing down. He's throwing all his power punches. But Koenga is giving him a very tough time. Koenga is giving him a, a very tough time. This is Basti's toughest opponent I've seen in recent time. This is Basti's toughest opponent I've seen in recent time. Nobody takes Basti's shots and stands strong to fight. Koenga has proven is the man that can take all the big shots. And still continue to fight. Koenga keeps using his jab. Basti is working on the ribs. Double jab. Basti is doing everything right to secure the knockout. Basti is doing everything right to, to secure the knockout. Koenga is doing everything he can to win the fight with his jabs. Last 10 seconds. Basti is still loading the bumps. That was a very solid round. Koenga keeps proving stubborn. And the Samir Basti fans are quiet. They are quiet because Koenga is proving to be stubborn. Koenga is proving to be very stubborn. Using his jab. Controlling the fight with the jab and not wanting to even throw any big punches. 
Meanwhile, Samir Basti is landing all his big punches and is getting frustrated. Frust it's getting frustrating for Basti. Before this fight, my very good friend, Ahmedo Dakujo, told me he's going to be Basti Samir's toughest opponent because of what he has seen Koenga do in the gym. This has been solid. We are in the seventh round. Basti will look to finish it in the seventh round. Basti will look to finish it in the seventh round. How long can Koenga continue to take all this punishment? Good job. Good job, Koenga. Good job. Good job. Good job, Koenga. Good job, Koenga. Basti is trying to find an opportunity to land a very big shot. That's good. That was a very big shot by Basti. And Koenga is taking all the punches. This must be a bit frustrating for Basti. Throwing all the big shots, and your opponent still stands strong in front of you and battle out with you. It must be really frustrating. Basti is throwing all the big shots. Koenga is taking all the shots. And he always reply with a solid jab. He keep using the jab. He slip a little. Good shot by Samuel Basti. Koenga will clinch. Solid round so far. Basti is throwing all the big shots. And on the scorecard, I think Basti is slightly ahead of Koenga. Koenga will need a knockout to win this one. Because Basti has landed a lot of power shots. And Koenga has just threw few jabs. So on the scorecard, Basti is leading on the scorecard. If Koenga wants to win this, he needs to start throwing the big shots to secure a knockout victory. Otherwise, I'll be still leading the scorecard. This has been a good show so far. It has been a good show so far. It has been a good show so far. Fight continue. Protect yourself at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Referee will separate them. Referee will separate them. But still will come in to secure the knockdown. Koenda keeps slipping. This looks very tough. That was a low blow. That was a low blow. That was a low blow. The referee will caution Basti to be very careful with the low blues. Basti. The referee will caution Basti to be careful with the low blues. Come back, Wanda. As soon as a very tough fighter. Good show from him. Solid fighter. Solid fighter. Solid fighter by all standard. The final round. Is he going to go the distance? Uh, Koenda is going to show something new to win the fight. This is the final round. This is the final round. Are we going to see Koenda coming to knock Basti out to take the victory? Or is going to continue with the jabs for the fight to go the distance?
Good fighters are preparing for the final round. Good fighters are preparing for the last the last of the final round. Is it going to be a Bastis Amir night? Or uh, it's going to be another night of boxing for Koenda. Will Koenda pull an upset? Is Koenda going to pull and an upset? And the final round. Our Samir Basti will also look at ending the fight in this final round. This is the final round. <laughs> the referee, the referee could look to control the fight. The final round, eight round, Bastille Samuel comes in. It's a game of jabs. Koenda is still throwing jabs. Good shot by Samuel Bastille. Will it going to be a knockout or is going to go the distance? Samuel Bastille looks like he wants to land something solid. Koenda will keep him away with the jabs. Good shot by both boxers. Good shot by Samuel Bastille. The referee. The referee will come to separate them. So far, so good. Good shot by Samuel Basti. And I wonder how Koenga has been able to take all those big, big shots to the body and still looks clean and sweet. Still controlling the fight with a jab. The referee will separate them. Samuel Basti will come with a big shot. Yeah. That was a very good shot. Pound for pound. Good shot by Bastille. Koenga will push him to find some breathing space. Bastille will look to win this fight by a knockout. Koenga will clinch to make sure we go to the we go to the Jaggi scorecard. Bastille is doing everything right. It looks like Bastille wants to end this fight by a knockout. We have just one minute to go. We just have one minute to go. Both fighters will trip. Both fighters will trade. Koenga will be moving around. Koenga is clinching throughout. We have 30 seconds to go. And it looks like Koenga is not ready to fight anymore. Koenga is not ready to fight anymore. He wants to hang on. He wants to hang on. It looks like the fight will go the distance. We have 20 seconds to go. Will Bastille land that power shot? Will Bastille land any power shot to win? We have 10 seconds to go. It looks like the fight is going the distance. Final seconds to go. Referee Erasmus will separate the two fighters. That was a very good contest. That was a very good contest. Good show by all standards. Oh, we finished it. I mean, okay. So the fight has gone the distance. And we are going to the judges' stock card to find out the winner.
for this particular bout? Is it going to be Samuel Basti or Koenga? Is it going to Samuel Basti or Koenga? Who is going to take the victory? Who is going to take the victory? Koenga has given us a very good show tonight. And he has definitely won some fans this evening. He has, he has given a very good show. And you can see the fans are clapping for him. He has given a very good show. What a way to make his debut in Ghana. Fighting so strong. This has been a very good contest. This has been a very good contest. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, this is an Ace Power Promotions event. We've had nine exciting bouts. And we just saw eight amazing rounds of an international cruiserweight battle between Basti Samir and Kadam Kungu. Let's go for the results now. Judge one. 8071 Judge 2 8071 Judge 3 8071 Ladies and gentlemen by unanimous decision The winner Basti Basti Samir wins by a unanimous back. That was That was a comeback for Samir Basti. Samir Basti wins this by a unanimous decision. And like I said, if Koenga was really serious of winning this bout, he needed to do something to win by a knockout. This has been a exciting night of boxing. I promise my fans that next time I'll do more better. Eight rounds. At some point, it got difficult. You slept at some point, but you got back up. You have won this bout. What's next for you? Uh, next is we are, we are trying to get back to get to a title like don't be uh, any African title. So fight, maybe we we'll have two more fights. Then we, are, we get ready for the world title. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the international cruiserweight champion. You know, um, I, I want to take a chance to go to the schools, all the top schools. I'm going to uh, uh, go visit them and uh, uh, tell, tell show them about how uh, sports go and everything. Uh, thank, thank you, uh, Mr. Jesse. J uh, Mr. Jesse. Mr. John. Jesse. Uh, thank you very much. He's here. He's here. He always support me. Thank you for everybody who came around. All right, Basti. Thank you very much. All right. George Ashi is also here. George Ashi, how are you? All right, so it's been a great event. Judge Ashi is also around. Oh, 
All right. <laughs> Judge Ashi is around. Where is he? And, and uh, I have a project coming. I want to go to all to the schools to help the young kids, uh, the upcoming kids to, to know more about sports and everything. Uh, thank you very much, Gloria. You're welcome, Basti. You're welcome. George Ashley, where is he? George, hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. George, you just won about a match. Yeah, yeah. And how excited were you? Or how excited are you still about that match? Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm very, very good and about about and I'm thinking, I think I'm, I'm going to defend my title on, on, on the 6th of uh, August, so I'm preparing so much more, yeah. You're preparing well? I'm very, very well. I'm very, very well. What will be your message to Ghanaian? My, unless my promoter, my promoter is a good, is, is, is a good for me, he won't be, yeah, like, it won't, he won't me to push me forward into be a water chance, so I'm, I'm, I think, I, my promoter, my promoter is a good promoter, yeah. So to the fans who follow George Ashley, who want to see you do well, what do you say to them? Yeah, I thank all my fans. They should pray for me. I'll bring the world title to Ghana. All right. He says he will bring the world title to Ghana. But in the meantime, let's just go back to Basti. Basti, you have so many fans. Naba, Naba, they're all here. What are you saying to them? I want to tell them that now... They understand the meaning of Naba Naba. I go and know Naba Naba. What about you, Naba Naba? Naba Naba. Naba. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a wrap here from the La Palm Royal Beach Hotel. This has been an Ace Park Promotions event. Nine bouts, nine exciting bouts we've had tonight. My name is Gloria Pepper on behalf of everybody. Many thanks to the GBA. Many thanks to the judges, the technical teams, everybody who worked on this promotion, the referees, everybody. On behalf of ASPA Promotions, the fans who came to watch the bout and those who watched all over the world, thank you for joining us tonight. Have a great evening wherever you are. It's part time. We love you. Bye for now.